And it's like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I don't care enough to do that. Like, I'm not going to stoop that low. Like, yeah, she wanted to be messy and she wanted to do all that fuck my ex shit at a concert. I don't care. Like, I really don't. Like, bro, this shit was never supposed to be taken to the internet. It wasn't. Like, I've lost all respect for her. Like, I really have. I literally just motherfucking, I literally just had a dream about her where she was asking to get back together and I was so happy. And it's like, for this, for this. I know, sis, I know. And it's like every single one of my friends wanted to fight her ass. Every single one of my friends wanted to fight her ass because they knew what she was putting me through. Like she dead ass. If she wants to pull the abuse card, she gaslit me into everything. When I told her I was upset, she burned the hoodie. She's like, well, you shouldn't have got the hoodie in the first place. You shouldn't have had the hoodie in the first place. And it was like, that's unfair to me because a close friend of mine gave that to me. So that's really not fair. And it's like, she always threatened to break up with me. Literally, like, when we posted that, like, no jumper, when we did that no jumper interview, like, she was mad the whole fucking way home because she was like, he never really talked to me for real. Like, every time someone would post something and she wasn't included in it, like, that's why, like, that's like, literally, she would gaslight me into feeling bad that they weren't tagging her, even if it was just a post about me. She would literally gaslight me into feeling bad to, to tell them to tag her. Like, she was tagged in all my Instagram posts. She literally was the only person I followed, and that wasn't even my choice. That wasn't even my choice. To be the sh the sh to have her as the only person I followed, that wasn't even my choice. And it was me who did it first. I don't know if you guys remember, but she still followed people when I only followed her. I was forced to only follow her. There was a lot of things I was forced to do. And it's like, for her to like say that I was the one abusing her is out of pocket as fuck. It's literally out of pocket as fuck. That shit is so untrue. And it's like, I literally fucking... Literally, bro, I literally am such a fucking advocate for domestic abuse survivors because I've literally been in an abusive where I was abusive relationship where I was getting pushed down the stairs and beat the fuck up. So for her to say that is really disgusting. It's really disgusting. Like, every time we went somewhere, I wasn't allowed to go by myself. Like, she always had to come with me. Like, bro, no. Because it was like, when I was first coming into my bisexuality, like, regardless if I turned bisexual with Kane or without Kane, I wasn't going to be a cheater. I wasn't going to cheat on her. So it's like... It's like one time, for example, one time I was going to go to the studio and I was like, oh, it's some guys I really want to work with that are there. She was like, and at first she didn't want to come to the studio with me. I was like, are you sure you don't want to come? And then she was like, who's all going to be there? And I was like, oh, it's some guys I really want to work with. And she was like, okay, I'm coming. I got to make my place known. But it was like, girl, I'm not going to cheat on you. Like, why are, like, why are you thinking I'm going to cheat on you? I've never once gave her a, a reason to think that I was going to cheat on her. Like I did one time say that Rhino from LLS was fine and I, that I would fuck. I didn't say it to her, but I did say it. And I am wrong for that because I was in a relationship and those words should not have came out of my mouth. But it's like, other than that, I did not give her a reason to think that I was going to cheat.
And it's like, I wasn't the one that cheated. I wasn't the one that fucking cheated. Like, she literally cheated. And I would show you guys, but the girl's nudes are in the conversation. So I can't even show you guys. Because I'm not about to post somebody's fucking nudes. And it's like, we were never in an open relationship. That all cap for the internet. We literally only ever had two threesomes in our entire relationship. She gave me head four times out of our two-year relationship. She didn't give me head for the whole first year that we dated. She gave me head on our one-year anniversary. Gave me head another time and one other time and one other time. Four times in the whole relationship and I still never cheated. Bitch, I'm a sex addict. I don't understand. Like, I like, what? 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 I waited a whole year to get head from this bitch. What? 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 And when she met me, she told me she wasn't even gay. She literally, she's literally queer baiting all of you. She's literally queer baiting all of you. I hope you know that. I hope you know that. She literally is queer baiting all of you bitches. Every single one of y'all who thinks she's really gay, she's not. She's not, bro. I literally have the motherfucking text message. She was like, when I met you, I wasn't really gay. I was literally just dressing like a stud so that I could do an interview one day and say that, oh, don't ever judge a book by its cover. Literally dead ass. I still have the messages where she told me she wasn't even gay. She's literally queer baiting all of you. And y'all are eating her fucking dick. I don't understand. You're eating her fucking dick. The bitch isn't gay. Like, bro, if you really want to know how much of a shitty person she is, here, hear this. I bought her a 10 fucking band and gays were ring and she fucking lost it. She fucking lost it. Bro, like, I'm sorry, but this is the last thing I'm going to motherfucking say, bro. The last thing I'm going to motherfucking say, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, I really don't give a fuck. The last thing I'm going to say is, bitch, guess what? Guess what? You had your homies write a diss about me because you don't even write your own fucking music. You don't even write your own fucking music. So that diss you made about me, that diss, that song you're going to put out, I hope you know. I hope everybody knows. She didn't even write that from her own heart. Her fucking homies be writing her shit, bitch. I wrote the fucking verse in Three Musketeers, bitch. So technically, you're not a fucking gold artist. I am, bitch. I wrote that whole shit. Suck my fucking dick, you stupid fucking slut. Because you got me fucked up. I'm so sorry, bro. I'm so sorry, but you got me fucked up. At this point, I'm over it. Do what you want. Say what the fuck you want to say. I don't give a fuck. I really don't. I really don't. At this point, I'm irritated. I'm, at this point, I'm mad. I don't give a fuck. Have fun. Do with do do with what information you want. I don't give a fuck. Do with what do with what I told you what you want. I don't care anymore. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. She literally posted on her story and then posted a photo after so that her photo that her story would get more fucking views so that she would fucking promote her shit. She posted that fuck my ex on her TikTok so she could promote her new song that her homies wrote about me, bitch. Suck my dick. I don't give a fuck anymore. I really don't. I really don't. Say what you want. If you're watching this, bitch, say what the fuck you want. I don't care. No, she's not answering my calls and she won't join the live. Like, bitch, I don't care. I, I really didn't want to motherfucking do this shit over social media, but she started. So I don't give a fuck. No, she's not fucking gay. She's not fucking gay. She's accusing me of abusing her, bitch. You weren't even fucking gay. We barely even had sex, babe. I'm not gonna fucking fight her. I had so much fucking love for that girl. And her to do this is so fucking irritating.